Hello everyone. Today we will explore the world's largest lizard, the Komodo dragon. With an impressive population of up to 10 million individuals, mainly concentrated in Texas. These reptiles have shown remarkable adaptability and successful survival in various environments becoming a common issue. The invasion of Komodo dragons has caused significant economic and environmental impacts. One of the most critical effects has been on livestock, resulting in substantial losses. These predators are highly dangerous, and their attacks on livestock have imposed serious financial burdens on farmers and ranchers, further intensifying their economic strain. Furthermore, Komodo dragons have disrupted local ecosystems by preying on native species. Their presence has led to a decline in indigenous species, upsetting ecological balance and threatening biodiversity. The ecological impact of Komodo dragons extends beyond their hunting capabilities to altering habitats, contributing to environmental degradation. However, Komodo dragons are not just passive predators, but also actively hunt and attack live prey using their stealth and powerful bite. Their exceptional hunting skills and preference for large prey can cause ecological imbalance. To address the challenges posed by Komodo dragons, various measures have been implemented, with hunting being a primary method. Shooting with firearms is a widely used approach, requiring appropriate permits to ensure regulated and safe operations. To address the issues caused by Komodo dragons, it is crucial to implement effective management strategies and ethics. This includes carefully regulating hunting activities, robust public education, and proactive habitat management measures to minimize damage. Next, we will delve into the world of one of nature's most impressive predators, the wolf. Typically weighing between 80 to 150 lbs, wolves have body lengths ranging from 4.5 to 6.5 ft, including their tails. Their thick fur comes in various colors from gray, black to white, allowing them to blend perfectly into different environments. These powerful creatures with robust bodies, sharp teeth, and acute senses are formidable hunters capable of taking down prey 
much larger than themselves. Wolves are known for their complex social structure, often forming packs led by an alpha male and an alpha female. Wolves cause significant economic damage to the livestock industry, with estimated losses reaching up to $60 million annually. They primarily target sheep, cattle, and goats, resulting in direct losses from predation and indirect losses due to increased stress on livestock, leading to reduced productivity. In 2020, ranchers in Montana reported losing over 50 cattle to wolf attacks highlighting the need for effective management strategies to protect livestock and livelihoods. One of the most reliable strategies for managing wolf presence in the United States is the construction of fences. Different types of fences are used, including high-intensity electric fences and predator-proof fences, each designed to prevent wolf intrusion. These fences have proven highly effective, with studies showing they can reduce wolf attacks by up to 90%. Hunting wolves with firearms requires specific permits and compliance with state regulations, which vary by region in Montana. Firearms hunting can lead to rapid reductions in wolf populations, providing immediate relief to affected areas. In 2021, hunters in Idaho reported harvesting over 500 wolves, significantly reducing the local wolf population. Determining the most appropriate control measures is essential to achieving this balance. Please share your insights and opinions on best practices in wolf management. Your comments are part of ecological conservation efforts and economic and human benefits. In the next part, we will explore the fascinating world of a bird, emblematic of the beauty of nature, while posing significant challenges, especially to agriculture. Let's begin with the goose, a familiar sight across North America, particularly during migration seasons. These extraordinary geese, numbering around 60 million, primarily concentrate in Texas and California, crucial stopping points along their migration route. These goose flocks in these areas can have significant economic and ecological impacts, necessitating effective management and control measures to minimize their effects.
farmers in Texas and California face significant challenges from snow geese, causing estimated damages of $81 million annually to crops. These birds with their insatiable appetites devastate grain fields and legume crops leading to reduced yields and increased replanting costs. This impacts planting schedules and places a heavy financial burden on farmers. Hunting is recognized as an effective means to control snow goose populations. In Texas and California, key focal points, there are designated hunting areas. These areas are managed to ensure sustainable hunting, providing hunters with guidance and specific hunting seasons. To hunt snow geese, hunters must obtain necessary licenses, including federal and state hunting permits, as well as migratory bird hunting permits. This process involves participating in safety courses, understanding local regulations, and often engaging in conservation efforts. Firearms hunting provides a quick and effective method to reduce snow goose populations, thereby protecting agricultural interests. Today, we will explore the ongoing issue of wild boar or feral hog populations in the United States, particularly in Georgia. Currently, there are approximately 500,000 wild boars distributed across the states, predominantly inhabiting dense forested areas and marshy terrain, which provide ideal conditions for their survival and proliferation. In these areas, wild boars not only significantly reduce agricultural productivity by destroying crops, but also threaten biodiversity. They compete for food and habitat, disrupting natural ecological balances and negatively impacting native wildlife species. In other instances, wild boars have been reported to destroy nearly 50% of cornfields in just one night, causing significant reductions in productivity and product quality, resulting in substantial losses for farmers. These cases are just a few examples among many reported each year in Georgia, highlighting the severity of this issue. In response to the challenges posed by wild boars, hunters in Georgia have utilized helicopters combined with firearms to address this threat. Let's explore how these hunters use helicopters to hunt wild boars and the impact of this method on local wild boar population control.
Using helicopters in hunting and controlling wild boars involves the use of firearms that enable hunters to make precise shots, resulting in immediate incapacitation of the boars. The effectiveness of these firearms not only ensures minimal pain for the animals, but also helps to limit the number of boars injured and running loose, thereby reducing the risk of safety issues for wildlife, humans, and the surrounding environment. Additionally, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, can be used to monitor the movements and behaviors of wild boars from above, contributing to the improved effectiveness of wildlife management campaigns. During hunting operations, pilots and hunters in helicopters can easily pinpoint the location of wild boars from the air, track their movements, and approach them without being hindered by terrain factors. This aerial perspective provided by UAVs enhances the efficiency of wild boar management efforts. Hunting wild boars using helicopters also faces significant challenges, specifically related to costs, environmental impact, and legal issues. Helicopter hunting requires substantial financial resources, as the cost of leasing helicopters can amount to thousands of dollars per hour, not including expenses for the pilots. These approaches require careful consideration of environmental, economic, and community health factors. Choosing the appropriate method depends on factors such as the number of wild pigs needing management, financial resources, and the severity of disease threats. What do you think about using helicopters to reduce the problem of wild pigs? Please share your thoughts below the video. Thank you for accompanying us until the end. See you in the next videos. Hello, everyone. The Altai Argali, a remarkable species known for its endurance and majestic beauty, stands out amidst the rugged landscapes of Russia, with an estimated population of about 4,000 individuals. They primarily inhabit the remote regions of southern Siberia, where they thrive and reproduce in specialized habitats that attract the interest of nature enthusiasts and hunters alike. The Altai Argali mountain sheep are impressive creatures, notable for their robust size and distinctive horns. They typically stand tall, with the shoulder height of males ranging from 85 to 135 semiti, approximately 33 to 53 inches. These animals have large bodies, weighing between 70 to 200 kilos, about 154 to 440 pounds, depending on age and gender.
One of the most striking features of the Altai Argali mountain sheep is their horns. The horns of the males can reach lengths of 190-200 semilometers, gracefully spiraling around their heads. These horns are not only symbols of strength, but also crucial tools in dominant struggles during the mating season. With their unique structure, the horns of the Altai Argali are fascinating subjects for study and admiration. The Altai Argali mountain sheep inhabit the most remote and rugged mountain ranges of Russia. These areas feature steep and rocky terrain, harsh weather conditions, creating an ideal environment for them. However, these conditions also pose significant challenges for hunters pursuing the Altai Argali. The difficult terrain not only tests their endurance and skills, but also affects their ability to track and approach the sheep. When hunting Altai Argali mountain sheep in Russia, selecting the right rifle plays a crucial role in ensuring a successful and ethical hunt. Among the popular choices are high-precision rifles. These rifles are renowned for their robust construction and accuracy, making them favored by many hunters navigating the challenging terrains of mountain ranges. Using a rifle to hunt Altai Argali mountain sheep in Russia offers significant advantages, especially in terms of accuracy and efficiency. The precision of rifles allows hunters to target individual animals without disturbing the entire herd, thereby reducing stress on the population and increasing the chances of a successful hunt. In addition, carrying equipment, gear, and sometimes even a heavy rifle adds to the physical burden. Successfully hunting under such conditions not only tests physical limits, but also requires perseverance, determination, and deep knowledge of mountainous terrain. Do you support this approach? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates in the video. Russia is home to a significant population of lynxes, with current estimates indicating around 20,000 individuals. These powerful and elusive predators are mainly found in the vast and rugged landscapes of Siberia, the high plateaus of the Caucasus Mountains, and the dense forests of Primorsky Krai in Russia. Attacks by lynxes on pets have become an increasingly significant concern, especially in rural communities where domestic animals often fall prey to these predators. Cases of lynxes attacking pets such as dogs and cats have been reported more frequently, causing frustration and economic loss for pet owners.
Leg hold traps are a popular method for managing lynx populations in Russia, but they are regulated by strict legal regulations. These laws ensure that leg hold traps are used responsibly and humanely, with measures in place to minimize pain and prevent unintended captures of non-target species. The effectiveness of using leg hold traps to manage lynx populations in Russia is noteworthy, with high success rates in capturing these elusive animals. Various campaigns have demonstrated the practicality and efficiency of this method in Siberia. Wildlife conservation agencies have reported significant success in reducing lynx numbers through well-planned trapping initiatives. In addition to trapping, hunting is also a widely accepted method in Russia, deeply rooted in the country's cultural and historical context. Hunting lynxes has been proven as an effective population control method. This approach significantly impacts the overall numbers of these predators, helping maintain ecological balance and reduce conflicts with humans and other wildlife species. When managing lynx populations, traps are indeed one of the most effective tools used by wildlife control experts. These traps are specially designed to capture lynxes accurately, ensuring they are held securely without causing excessive harm. They are sized appropriately to fit the lynx's body, thereby minimizing injury. These traps are part of responsible wildlife management practices aimed at maintaining population levels and reducing potential conflicts with humans and other wildlife species. In Mississippi, the issue of oysters poses a unique challenge to farmers and the ecosystem alike. With estimates suggesting millions of oysters, Mississippi faces a larger spread than anywhere else. This staggering number highlights the severity of the issue and underscores the need for effective control measures to maintain ecological balance. Oysters thrive in the wet and submerged areas of Mississippi, ideal conditions for their habitat. Their excellent adaptability to this specific environment has enabled their population to increase significantly, posing a serious threat to the extensive ecosystem. Mississippi has implemented various control measures to manage the population of oysters, a significant threat to the ecosystem. 
These efforts are characterized by a collaborative approach involving cooperation with hunters to effectively address the issue. This collaboration leverages the expertise of hunters and local knowledge, creating a comprehensive strategy for oyster control. Hunting is an important method for controlling oysters. This practice includes hunting activities during both day and night, ensuring continuous management of these species. Hunters use boats to navigate flooded areas and marshes, tracking the movements and traces of oysters. Hunting oysters in Mississippi requires a combination of keen observation and practical skills. Identifying oyster traces is crucial, as they often move between grass beds along the edges of marshes and swim on the water surface in search of food. Hunters must be careful and attentive to observe small signs of movement and listen for sounds of their activities. Fishing net techniques are effective for managing invasive carp populations. Specialized nets are highly efficient for rapid harvesting, allowing farmers to collect large quantities of fish in a short time. These netting methods have proven crucial in controlling carp populations and minimizing their environmental impact on local ecosystems. At the peak of the Asian carp invasion in Mississippi, farmers deployed intensive harvesting methods to control populations that exceeded expectations. In just three days, they harvested 96,000 pounds of invasive Asian carp, a significant achievement for their strategy and the scale of the problem. The harvested carp has found numerous important applications, significantly contributing to various industries and the local economy as a versatile food source. Carp is processed into a wide array of delicious dishes, ranging from traditional preparations to creatively cooked dishes such as frying, grilling, and even making fish cakes or fish balls, appealing to diverse palates. Wild boars are renowned for their omnivorous diet, which includes a variety of foods such as grasses, leaves, fruits, seeds, and even small animals. However, their presence often leads to severe disruptions in the ecosystem, as they can devastate vegetation, disturb soil structures, and damage plant root systems, resulting in biodiversity decline. The Jagger Pro Trap with its robust control panel represents a significant advancement in wild boar population management. This innovative trap is designed for easy assembly and installation, allowing users to quickly set up the system using simple tools and mounting bars. Its efficiency is enhanced by utilizing solar energy to power the trap's motor and signal lights, ensuring effective and sustainable operation.
These traps are praised for their high effectiveness, with data showing they can capture up to 30 wild boars per night, significantly reducing the population growth of these invasive animals. These harmful species have deep, negative impacts on the environment, including habitat destruction, water pollution, and competition with native species for resources. Summary. Despite various methods and technologies implemented to manage the increasing population of wild boars, the fight against these invasive species remains challenging. We invite you to share your opinions and suggestions for more effective solutions to control wild boars. Your input can contribute to developing better strategies and protecting our agricultural and natural environments. If you find this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay updated with the latest videos and help raise awareness about this important issue. Thank you for your support.